Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing, and yes, that is salt water in the background. I'm back on the coast again fishing. It's good to be back on the coast salt water fishing. Gonna be doing a little bit of traveling along the coast, fishing some spots that I've never fished before. So I will have some new videos coming soon, so stay tuned for them. But in the meanwhile, here's a video of me and my nephew down at the wharf catching a few garfish. Check it out, cheers. Alright guys, just came down to this jetty, there's a few garfish out there, there's some good brim swimming around, but we're going to try to catch a few garfish, just barely out with a bit of bread, just crush the bread up in your hands. Get it out there, see if they're still there, there's still garfish there. Basic rig, just a little bobber float, that's actually a fly fishing float. About a footer, leader, no sinker, and then just a tiny size 10 hook. Put a bit of bread on, get it out there. Yeah, we got one on after dropping about four. Oh my god, lost like five in a row, must be these hooks, I got one, it's coming in, here we go there, finally got one in, alright guys we got one gar, see if we can get a few more, there's plenty out there, Watch that birdie will come up with a gar, look. He's been getting so many of them. Fish on. Oh, this is a big one. Look at the size of this one. It's massive. Seagar. Stay on. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that garfish. Here's a cracker. That's what you call a seagar. They're the ones that you want to eat, them ones, eh? Yeah. That's just a long. <laughs> Look at that. It's a stonker. Yep. Another gar. Garfish. Another little gar. A bit more burly. Crumble it up in your hands and let the wind blow it out. And the garfish will come. Look at them all down here. The... I've got one. You never know. Slowly burling them into the jetty, eh? They were out wide when we started, now they're right in close. Gah. Oh, this is all right. They look bigger in the water. And then you get them out and they're tiny. He's all right. He's not that tiny. Probably one of the better ones that I've caught today. Got a bit of mullet flesh on there. Seems to stay on a bit better. Now they're really in a frenzy. They're going for the mullet. I just caught one and I still got me bait. Here we go. What you want to do is when they grab your float, wait for your float just to start moving across the surface like it is now and you know that they're swimming off with it. 
and then you just slowly wind into them. Instead of just striking, you just wind up. Got one. Fish on. Got one? Oh. Need to get a couple of those big ones, eh? Just getting all the little ones. Another little gar. Need to get a couple of the big ones to eat. These ones are good for bait, but you want the big ones. I've got a brim down here. Stonker brim. Oh, there's heaps of yakkers, Shay. Look at them all. Heaps of yakkers. All right, guys. Going to catch one more, and then that'll be enough. We've got a few in there. A little bit of bread on there. And out we go. Where'd they go? Oh, yep. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. Last fish of the day. Got enough gar in there for bait. Alright, there we go. Simple rig, just a little float. Bit of line off the float and a hook. That's all you need to catch them. Very easy to catch. Bit of bread. You're on your way. Alright guys, me and my nephew ended up getting a few garfish. That's what we ended up getting there. Got a few there. Going to keep some for snapper bait. And a couple of the bigger ones are going to butterfly and uh, cook them up. So I ended up getting a few. It was a good session. So if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.